My name is Rose Matafeo, and this is My World! My World! My World! Welcome back to New Live. Live I was born on the 25th of February, 1992, right here at my house. I get my Samoan side from my dad and my Croatian and Scottish side from my mum, which is where I get a little nose bump. That was, that was courtesy of my Croatian forefathers. I often say that I'm the world's worst Samoan because I went to Bayfield, where there was literally two, two Samoan kids, I think. My mum and dad met uh, through 12 Tribes of Israel, which is um, the uh, Rastafarian kind of denomination in Auckland. They're, they're both Rasta, and, and I grew up um, in, in the in, in the 12 tribes. It's such a weird thing to say because my parents are so cool and they're dreadlocked and they listen to awesome, cool, like they go to drum and bass gigs or reggae gigs and I sit at home listening to Coast. Like they're the coolest parents. They're Rastafarian for goodness sakes. Rose, in my uh, opinion, is, is the most amazingly youthful, beautiful 91 year old woman living inside the frame of a 21 year old I've ever met. She's um, yep. obsessed with Burt Bacharach. I hated reggae. It was all I was exposed to when I was younger. Like everything was reggae. And of course, like you know how people, kids always rebel against their parents, whatever their parents did. The way I rebelled was uh, listening to Burt Bacharach. This is where I check my hair and my makeup. This is my makeup room. When I was 15, I did this program that the Comedy Festival puts on called Class Comedians. It's like a comedy boot camp. By the end, when we did a show with five minutes of stand-up, I um, I managed like to win the like the Nail It on the Night Award, which was awesome because I was just the quietest, meekest most scared, nervous person. So we got a few nerves going on at the back because it is fresh comedy night here tonight, so... Um... Rose Matafeo, ladies and gentlemen. Hit me. She's an incredible talent, man. Like, seriously, 21 years old. She started stand-up comedy when she was three and was slaying audiences by the time she was four. It's incredible. And he'll be like, doste, 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 Hector Romeo. <laughs> and they start laughing. <laughs> it gives you a good skill set, I guess. And um, definitely, uh, I'd love to start in comedy, doing stand-up, and, and get into, you know, more writing and and eventually winning my Oscar. So that's going to be a good day. Welcome back to you live, and we've got Tom Cruise coming in like in a matter of seconds. He's nearly here. The chopper has just landed, and I don't oh. know. Here he is. Here he is. I well, I got the job at you uh, through, I think comedy. I think the first thing I ever shot with her was, funnily enough, a video about. This strange character that was strangely obsessed with cats. This is called Feline Fine. This is my show about cats because I like cats. She is going to be the cat lady when she's like 80, 100 cats in her house, smashed windows. Apparently, that got me a job when really it probably sh I should probably should have just been escorted outside by security. Say goodbye to Tom Cruise. Uh, we're going to play a bit of Flow Rider, of, of course. Bye, Tom Cruise. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. My parents are just co so completely supportive and lovely, and they would just, you know, push me into whatever uh, direction that I, you know, had an interest in. Mom and daughter. Hey. Smile, smile. Yeah, yeah. I'm smiling. <laughs> yeah, she's got not drive like, um, like I'm going to get to the top or anything, but just that I'm going to have a go. And she's on TV now. That's how I get to spend my quality time with her. <laughs> I turn her on the TV and it's like, hey, Rose, because, you know, she's in and out of the house all the time and hardly see her, so, yeah. I'm excited. I want to go I want to go overseas. I want to write a TV show. I want to write a movie. I want to do it all, guys. And I'm, and I'm going to do it all. Cue inspirational music.